Gemini, welcome to your December 2019 reading. I'm Gemstone Tarot, this is Valentine. Well, Valentine's fallen asleep, but that's Valentine the cat. She's an Aquarius. She loves a good tarot reading. Okay, Gemini, 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 Gemini. You've got a full moon in your sign on the 12th, which I quite like for you something kind of completing and then we have a new moon in capricorn on the 26th which is an eclipse and i feel like that's kind of resonant for you too hmm, interesting first card okay what do we need to know for gemini sun moon and rising oh my god gemini get yourself a cup of tea glass of wine piece of cake do yourself a little foot spa. Let's get into this because it's going to be a big one. <laughs> it is. I can see already. There will be an extended reading and the link will be in the description box. It directly follows this one and does a deep dive into the characters, into the card, into the love story, into your significant other. All sorts of stuff. Certainly this one will be. When the first two cards you pull are the Empress and the Emperor. I know, come on. Wow. Gemini. What do we need to know? That one sort of wants to come out, but I'm going to go again. Let's go again. Go again for Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cross Watchers, anyone. <clears throat> mm. Bottom of the deck, the Page of Cups. Pretty sure that's come up for you quite a lot recently because I've been asking the question. And Gemini, you might be asking this question what's in the cup? You know, hello, nice to see you nice cup what's inside you know it's that kind of feeling it's that kind of feeling of inquiry and then we have the ace of pentacles nice card this for me is quite a capricorn -y card and of course we have the new moon eclipse in capricorn new moons are beginnings and i do feel that when we have the full moon in your sign on the 12th that kind of closes something perhaps quite challenging out and throws you in the path in the next 14 days after that or so as we go to the end of December just into a much more kind of practical and sensible direction that something can be built whether that is to do with work love whatever it is that something tangible you're going to have your eye on the prize, but the prize is a pentacle, which for Gemini's is not, you know, your air, your mutable air, your double air. And this is an earth energy. It's um, Capricorn energy is cardinal. It's about building. Your attention is going to be, Gemini, very much on what you can what is real and what is not real and what can be built upon and what has real promise for the future and of course what doesn't it's a bit of a make or break almost here i've got these two cards that came up next to each other the empress and the emperor the Empress is in the reverse, Divine Feminine in the reverse. The feeling that it's a strange pairing between these two. The Emperor in this is probably Divine Masculine. The Empress is probably Divine Feminine. I'm getting quite a strong twin flame 
resonance about this. I do want to take another card. to do with power yeah ace of wands in reverse who has the power empress in reverse emperor in the upright it seems like divine masculine has the power in this situation but i feel like that will change with the gemini full moon on the 12th I've got the Five of Swords in reverse, which is Venus in Aquarius. But when you get the Five of Swords in reverse, it's like a power struggle that flips. Somehow, Gemini, something about this full moon brings things to light or brings things to the surface, which change the power dynamic in a relationship. And I feel, for those of you that identify with Divine Feminine, it brings you into a power that you haven't had before. From that place of power, from that full moon in your sign, I feel like you're going to be in a position to really consider if something is what you want. If it's real enough, if it comes up to snuff, if it comes up to scratch, if it's proper Ace of Pentacles material. You've got the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, and this is where somebody takes stock of the value of something. It's also how far you've come with something, how, you know, you look at a relationship or a job or a situation, and, you know, it's like contemplating He's like, hmm, what do I think of this? Is this enough for me? Is it healthy enough? Does it bring enough to the table? Again, what's in the cup? Is it of value? Does it bring value to my life? Gemini, I feel like you're going to be seriously asking and receiving an answer to that question. Does this bring value to my life? Is this good for me? Is it enough? And then next to the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, the Hierophant. Commitment, marriage, going to the next level, taking something seriously. It's giving me a really itchy nose. Is it credible? Are they credible? If it's a job offer, does it have longevity? Does it have promotion? Does it have legs? You know, will it run and run? Is it on my side? Is that person real? Are they offering me something? Do they want a commitment? Can they ever meet my needs properly? This is a very powerful connection between the Empress and the Emperor. I do get a twin flame resonance for those of you that identify with that. I don't always get that in my readings, but I do when the Empress and the Emperor turn up together in this way. But the Empress is in reverse. The feminine is unbalanced. And the power is being used wrong. That's a terrible sentence. The power is being used badly. The feminine is not in her power. The Ace of Wands is in reverse. The feminine needs to come back into her power so that she can strongly consider her position. In the middle of the reading, temperance, that is feminine power. Her feet are in the source. She knows where the water is coming from. She goes from cup to cup. Her crown chakra is lit. Her third eye is activated. And also here, you know, the heart chakra, all of the chakras, all of the internal feminine um, knowledge. It's what you get for the high priestess, like the internal feminine magician is at play here. 
in the right kind of energy. There's no impatience, there's no particular need to know, there's no particular logic, there's just this balanced flow of intuition. And the Four of Swords, making peace. Nice. Let's have a look at a Chuck Spezzano love card for this. Some of you, Gemini, are dealing with somebody who is maybe not sharing your heart with you in the way that you need to have a true kind of love connection. Disillusionment. Some of you are finding yourselves... This is a person that initially you may have thought there was a real, real, real connection with and you're finding yourself maybe looking behind the canvas and actually for the first time seeing the real person. And then the trap. Don't fall into the trap of giving away your feminine power, okay? Sorry about that, Gemini, my camera just packed in. Okay, the, the trap is in not knowing that you're going to become the chooser in this scenario. I think previously, Gemini, you um and the divine masculine energy and the divine feminine energy can be in either male or female so that fits however you can fit it previously the person in the position of emperor the divine masculine it felt like they had all the cards they were the one in power they were the one calling the shots but this five of swords in reverse for me it is that power flip card now, you could be dealing with a fellow air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Also with the Hierophant and the Empress, they're both a Taurian energy. I'm not sure. I don't get any particular really standout signs. But Gemini, this is about reversing that Ace of Wands, taking back your power, using the full moon in your sign on the 12th to become a discerning chooser. OK, and when you reach that Capricorn energy where there's going to be loads of planets in Capricorn and you've got your ace of pentacles, I just feel like you're going to be in a genuine position of power. You're not even going to have to talk about, you know, you know, let me tell you another thing. It's not going to be like that. It's that internal feeling of feeling solid with yourself comfortable in your own skin and becoming more aware of what you want to do and how you want to move forward. Look at the oracle card you get. Clean it up. Yeah. Now you realise you can't reach over and clean their side of the street, but you're really having a sweep out on your own, okay? You're sweeping away old beliefs, negative beliefs, feelings of, um, of powerlessness and welcoming in um, a real, uh, my words aren't working today, welcoming in a realistic feeling of being a chooser, of being able to walk away if you need to walk away, but also being able to set the boundaries and parameters if you want to stay. Almost what's happening here is the Empress is taking on the qualities of the emperor and maybe vice versa. God, I love this for you, Gemini. In the extended reading, I'm gonna look at the empress, the emperor, the hierophant, the five of swords and the ace of wands. Yes. 
you get meditation as your oracle card and this is about a deep introspection that will be happening probably from the time um beginning of the month till about the 12th the first two weeks of the month are like an intense introspection and it wouldn't hurt for you to do some meditations if you can if you like those uh, there's loads of free good meditations you can find with different people on youtube but then after the 12th, the momentum builds towards that new moon in Capricorn where there will be a choice to make about whether something in reality is bringing enough value into your life. Gemini, I'm going to hop over and do the extended reading. So do click the link in the description box if you want to join me. Do subscribe to the channel because I am doing some live readings and they are quite random. So if you're subscribed, you will get a notification. Hit the bell icon so you actually do get notified and I'll see you soon Gemini. Namaste.